Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's week two of the emergency medicine placement and we're on an all day course for immediate life support where we go over the ABCDE approach to assessing unwell patients. This morning we talked, talked through that and we did a lot of scenarios where we had one of us, one of the medical students and one of the nurses kind of being paired up sure? and Absolutely. taking care of a patient. So I had a patient who had asthma attack, another one had anaphylaxis, there was another, there was a myocardial infarction. So it's been quite fun dealing with these things. This afternoon we're going to be doing like cardiac arrest scenarios where we're going to be kind of pretending the mannequin has a cardiac arrest and like shocking them. So looking forward to that. We're learning a lot. It's going to be amazing. Hello again guys, it's now about quarter past seven in the evening, we're about half five onwards. We had a really good teaching session with two junior doctors uh, just going over management of emergencies like diabetic ketoacidosis, asthma, anaphylaxis, this sort of stuff. So that was really good. Now it's about quarter past seven. Uh, Shalin and Flora are cooking for us. They're making some kind of vegetarian curry thing, which should be good. And I think in the meantime, we're gonna play a cheeky game of Pandemic Legacy and we'll see you in a bit. Bye. All right guys, we're back in the flat. Pandemic Legacy is like pandemic, but each time you play the game, the game changes. So we're on like month five and we're just planning to kind of play this for the whole year because like new stuff gets added and everything. The situation has intensified. Countries are hesitant to turn troops on their loved ones. We need to control their spread or the world will go into darkness. Don't let the other diseases grow unchecked or we will have an end world situation. Each time we play, there are special instructions, like it says open box number three or open sticker packet number five, and that changes the game and adds different kind of rules and different dimensions to it. Uh, so it's like the same game, but modified over the course of the year, which is pretty awesome. It feels like you know, we're like in the middle of a online role-playing game where we like these scientists fighting against this like evil disease thing. That's how